Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI online course. In this video, we're going to talk about how we use NDI right here in our video production studio. Let's get started. So I've got a little presentation here that corresponds with the book. And as you can see here, we're moving right along. We've talked about what NDI is. We've gone over a brief history. And we've talked about some of the most popular NDI software. So I thought now would be a great time to show you how the Stream Geeks use NDI quite often in our video production studio. In fact, once you start using NDI, it becomes one of the easiest ways to send and receive video, control all kinds of different devices, and become part of a growing ecosystem where everything's scalable and super reliable. So we use it just so heavily. Um, Basically, we use a simple example is to get this presentation right here, right here on my computer to our video production computer, I'm using NDI. So most NDI tools are kind of hidden in the bottom right. If we can go full screen with this, I want to show just a little bit here how I'm actually running NDI screen capture and NDI virtual input. They, they kind of just live in the right hand side and we've looked at this but it's a perfect example this video source is coming from a computer and brian why don't we go ahead and cut to my wireless camera really quickly uh and i, I just want to show this so this is a windows computer it meets the minimum specifications for ndi in fact it exceeds them it's an i7 processor this is my the computer the hdmi output and then here we can see we have all of the settings that I've set up for my screen capture. So this goes over the local area network, right? Over the ethernet port, captures my PowerPoint presentation, and it sends it over to this computer. This is our main video production computer here. And voila, my computer. Now we're using vMix here. If you hit the add input, Brian, and then just go to NDI, you'll see that it will start to discover sources on your network. And these are all sources that we use. And one of them happens to be my iPhone. You saw that there. That's the source that we're using now. But we also, and we'll talk about that in a little more detail, but also many other sources that are available on our local area network. So the simplest, easiest way we use NDI is sending simple presentation slides from one computer to another. So that is one very simple way that we use NDI. And it is probably the way most of you get started with NDI. So we capture a presentation laptop and we get it into the live streaming computer. This is a little diagram of how that works. We have NDI screen capture running on a presentation PC. This is very popular for houses of worship where there's a pastor who has PowerPoint slides. But in any presentation where there's a presenter who has a computer, that video, whether it's eSports fast motion video or it is simple PowerPoint slides can be captured and sent over the local area network. No need for long extension cables, HDMI, SDI, traditional systems. Now, taking this idea a little further, we also use NDI cameras. And right now in the presentation space that you've seen, what we'll do is we'll build a PNG transparent overlay file. And that's this overlay on top of two video files. So one or two video feeds. One is an NDI camera feed and the other is an NDI screen capture. Now maybe we'll add a lower third to this scenario, but this has become a very popular way to kind of organize content. You have a, a live video of a presenter, you have the live video of their slides, and we do that quite often. Now, taking this a step further, if you have a second computer, which we do, um, we will do have a Zoom meeting also included into the production. So looking at this in a higher level, we have almost, we have over four NDI cameras in this studio. We have uh, NDI screen capture, capturing the presentation PC, but we also have a second screen capture. Obviously this is optional, but you can add as many as you'd like. And for us, if you watch our live streams, we will capture the Zoom meeting 
that we're hosting for people to collaborate and share during our, our webinar, they, we will actually capture the meeting in grid view and then use it a little bit like this, where as the host, I can communicate and talk to the meeting participants and we organize it that way. So this kind of opens your eyes to the different ways you can capture stream content, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation or a Zoom meeting. Now you can really start to get creative with the ways that you build your presentation projects and start to mix and match multiple NDI sources together. Taking this another step further, this is one that I get a lot of questions about. We have some videos about it on our Stream Geeks channel. Imagine capturing two NDI sources of the same exact Zoom meeting. Why would you want to do that? Well, you can see here, it's the same type of setup, but we've actually got three boxes now. We have an NDI camera showing the host. We have an NDI screen capture for the Zoom meeting on one computer, which is showing the Zoom meeting in active speaker mode. And then we have another computer on our local area network using NDI screen capture, capturing the grid view. So in this way, you can always have the option as a producer to show the active speaker in full screen, or even as we're doing now, the active speaker in their own dedicated space. And then, of course, it's nice to be able to show that grid view where you've got lots of people interacting and collaborating together. Um, you know, with a Zoom meeting, you can have hundreds of people collaborating. So it's nice to kind of have a way to spotlight those people. And, of course, working with a team. Now, at this point, I want to play a short video to show you guys how we just recently completed a really high-powered, widely attended, thousands of virtual attendees, a virtual event where we worked as a team and NDI allowed us to have a social media. We were using vMix Social uh, to show social media comments on different screens. Anyway, let me play this video for you really quickly. It's three to four minutes to show you behind the scenes how we use NDI in our video production workflow. Hey guys, uh, I really wanted to show you behind the scenes here at the Worship Summit, how we use the technology I'm talking about in my presentation. Lindsay is here, she's kind of like an executive producer. Love it. Similar to a volunteer at a worship service. We have our main producer, Mike, who is actually producing the live stream and listening to the audio mix. But what we found is having a second volunteer, second media director, we can do a lot more. And some of those important things like social media, connecting with the comments, showing them up on the screens, and also managing, you know, all that, um, the video that's on our televisions. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to show you here is two things. One is, uh, Lindsay, I'd like you to show a social media comment. Alrighty. And Lindsay is using vMix Social so we can get social media comments from YouTube, from Facebook. And when she hits the send button, it goes full screen in her vMix system. So we're using vMix Social and this is how she's doing it. Now, as I mentioned, everything Lindsay's doing is being displayed on the TVs over here. So I want to show this. And then, Lindsay, while we're over there, why don't you, you know, show some of the other things that you're capable of doing uh, as well. So come on over here. And I'm just going to do this in one take. It's just part of our production. Uh, but if we step over here, this is our presentation space here. And you can see there's two TVs. And so these TVs are using NDI Studio Monitor to connect to our video. So we're not running HDMI cables, we're not running SDI cables. We literally just plug a computer in and show the video. Now, Lindsay, why don't you show a comment again and we'll show you how that works. I personally prefer to see a social media comment full screen. So it's not necessarily going out to the live stream in full screen. It's going to these two monitors so that I can personally see the comment and respond to the comment and engage with my audience, get to know them, say their name. If you come over here really quickly, we spin around to our main live streaming computer. And I know most of you might have just one live streaming computer. 
So this example is showing a second live streaming computer and a really great way to have a volunteer get more involved and become more comfortable with this technology. You can see Lindsay is switching the video inputs over here. This is our main live streaming computer. This is where Mike is sitting probably right now. And he's switching between different cameras, right? We have an auto tracking camera, certain things. But he also has the shot from Lindsay's computer. So we can show them on the screens. We can or decide if we want to show it as part of our production. One cool way that we actually do this, just to give you guys an example, is we set up a channel. And I know you guys asked, you guys asked for technical training. So here we go. When we pull in Lindsay's stream here, we actually have an overlay channel, channel three, set up to always be picture in picture. Now, I know not everybody has vMix, but you can see here in the overlay settings, you can kind of decide where you want that to happen. So that way, kind of coming full circle here, I've got someone helping, someone monitoring social media, someone helping to show me what to focus on. You can see she's also managing the up next screens. So, so this is a person that could be managing lyrics for songs. They could be managing presentation slides. And now I'm also showing how they can also be managing the video that is being displayed on real TVs in your worship sanctuary. And then they can also provide a secondary benefit to the main producer as a backup, right? Not only a backup, but an addition to help them focus on what they need to do. And you can see here, if I so choose, I can show the comment full screen, or maybe in many cases, and I think this looks really professional, there's no need to show the comment on the live stream. It's already on the TV behind the pastor. And it's a very natural way that the viewers are actually showing up in the live stream. So really cool. That's it. Let's get back to the presentation and we'll go from there. All right. So I, w I love the way we're able to incorporate larger teams to work together. And of course, we were using vMix Social there. Here's a simple look at the way it was set up here. You know, we basically had a social media output, right? And that output included vMix using vMix Social. And then we brought that into not just the live streaming computer, but two other computers running NDI Studio Monitor so that we could show those displays up in our, in our video production space. So key takeaways here, NDI technology makes it easier to accomplish video production projects. And as you're learning and wrapping your head around how all of this works, these free video tools make it more affordable and scalable than ever to accomplish new and exciting, innovative video production projects. Here at the Stream Geeks, we use NDI throughout our video productions, and you'll see it being used all the time. So we're happy to be a resource in the comments during a live stream. You feel free to ask questions about NDI. We do use it here in our studio regularly. And then finally, NDI can make it easier to work with a team. So if you feel like you have a volunteer or you have an intern or you have someone with budding video production potential, NDI makes it easier for them to contribute content and become part of a larger team. So that's been exciting here at the Stream Geeks. Our next video, will be digging more into the networking side of things at a high level, giving you the foundational knowledge you need to not only troubleshoot NDI and the rare cases that happens, but understand how networks are put together. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and let's keep going.